Hey guys, Hazel here. Thank you so much for, I just wanted to hop on a quick call, a quick call, quick uh, video because I just wanted to thank you. Thank you to my family and friends who has, you know, you guys remembered and sent me all those birthday greetings and who would have thought we are now 40 freaking two and hi Julie how are you doing I am so grateful for each and every one of you who came into my life whether it's for a season uh, for a reason for whatever reason I am super super grateful and although I miss my family and friends back in the Philippines I am surrounded with so much love from you guys and I know this is a new chapter and I am excited to show up for my own dreams regardless of how challenging uh, the past few years have been and sometimes when you have this awakening or rude awakening or spiritual awakening however you call it or some people would say oh my god I think you have a midlife crisis however you call it I just wanted to give hi I know right hi Vida thank you so much and uh, I hope you had a great time uh, on your vacation however really truly um, you have no idea that uh, since I started this becoming and growing into the person that I wanted to become and I am still growing and unlearning the hardest part I think is the unlearning part of it and letting go of the old identity and that was the hardest part for me and so having the boldness and the courage to embrace this new chapter of my life even though I do not know where this positivity train is going to bring me. I know and I am excited that deep down I'm going to be fine and that um, I'm just taking it one day at a time and I am very excited where this whole thing is going because my heart knows that I am here for a reason and I am here to encourage. And I think the hardest part sometimes is when you're an encourager, um, you kind of really truly wanted to have people around encouraging you too. Because let's be honest, the growing and the transformation phase is not easy. Yes, it's easier said than done. However, it's the continuing everyday choosing wisely and being there for you, for your dream. And it's scary. I am scared for sure. However, I'm scared and doing it anyway. Hi, Davina. I hope you are doing. Thank you. Thank you so much. And again, I just wanted to give a lot of shout out to all my soul tribe online because I feel like the people who really gets me and uh, truly cared for me, I feel, are those who are truly outside of the my pack. You know what I mean? Like some of them are really strangers yet I feel like I have grown into appreciating this social circle that I have been around since I started to show up for my dreams. I am not going to put myself in a box and whoever created this imaginary box, I'm going to destroy that. Um, and so seriously guys, your wonderful words of encouragement means a lot. This is my love language. So that is why it really brings a lot of encouragement, especially when there are days where I felt like, oh my God, is this it? You know, or trying to, to really be strong for me when the going gets tough. And I just know for sure that 
life can be hard sometimes and I have heard so many stories from you all who shared your stories with me and thank you for the for joining me on this journey seriously to grow and creating a positive impact wherever we are and whatever issues we find um, like that we're super passionate about for me overcoming my own challenges especially the negative salt talk the inner critic inside my head and doubting myself whether i got this like seriously i think it's part of the show it's part of the process and we always tend to focus on how pretty is this butterfly right however we f tend to forgot that Oh my, we tend to forget that the freaking beautiful butterfly has to go through a ton of discomfort and going through this metamorphosis of your soul takes a lot of time, a lot of compassion and a lot of self-love. And for me, it's like radical self-love and self-acceptance, knowing that the past has been really helpful. However, we are not going to build an empire in our past. Like we have to build where we are today. And my life seems to be like always in under construction. And that is fine because even if, a lot of the people around me who are still doubting where this thing is going, where I'm going, I know deep down that this is part of the growing phase. However uncomfortable this whole thing has been for me since the past few years, and uh, seeing that the mental challenges that I have to go through and overcoming my old mentality my old habits one day at a time is truly uh, a thing that i am proud of uh, because i am not going uh, i'm not giving up and i am not letting any naysayers or doubters or people who are trying to put me down especially my <sighs> crazy billion dollar ideas and it's true you have to be really okay to be called many, many things or be labeled by other people. Because at the end of the day, I'm not here to criticize you. I'm here to inspire you to become the better version of yourself. And what I have known, what I truly know now, after going through a lot of challenges since I was a little chick, is this, that my adversities my own fears, my own doubts, even my bouts of my fight over coming my own depression and anxiety and self-doubt on an ongoing daily basis. Happy birthday, yes! Oh yes, I just wanted to serve. Thank you, cousin. And my idea of success is truly showing up for me despite the hardships. Uh, I don't wanna cry. Uh, but what I'm trying to say right now is, if you are a woman and or a man who is going through the up, ups and downs of growing and being afraid of what might the future will bring, I know deep down that it's always a challenge. And let me give this um, quote from Joel Osteen. We all go through the valleys, but the valleys are what lead us to higher mountains. And it growing, growing personally and growing a business that you truly give a fudge is not easy. And there are days where I felt like, am I on the right path? I know I am. It's just that sometimes when you have when you have gut punches and you're like, whoa, there's setbacks upon setbacks, it's okay because that is part of your process and it's not the same for everybody. It's not the same. What I know for sure is I grew wisely for every setback that has been given to me by life. Is it sexy in some days? No, it's scary AF and, um, I'm here because I know that God led me to this. He brought me to the darkest places, but also brought me to the light. 
and I, what I can encourage you right now, if you're going through a tough time, is that tough times won't last. Tough people do. And I am proud of that, that I'm super resilient. Um, very true getting back up when you have been down. I know, right? Thank you. Oh my God, what time is it in the UK? So for me, um, I believe that we are here for a reason, to learn, to learn and to grow. And the best thing is to be okay with feeling not okay and not judging yourself when you're down and out. I, I believe that when you give up on you and your dreams, it is selfish. It's super selfish to give up on your dreams, whatever that dream is for you. I don't care what that is. And sometimes our family and friends, thank you for the love guys, maybe hopefully you can share this, um, is that it's important that you have to be there for you. I have one client who told me that she's having a hard time and I just reminded her that you cannot get to the top of the mountain without going through the dark caves, the, the valleys and I, I know for me it's like why would you complain about the difficulties in your life and how come you're not complaining if you're having a great time right and for me I know what I know now is that my adversities my difficulties and the bricks that other people has thrown at me or maybe people talk behind my back I don't give a crap is this because we're all here to learn from each other. And I think the most important thing to remind ourselves of is that we have to surround ourselves with people who brings us up, not down. Because let's be honest, when you're already down and people are throwing, uh, throwing crap at you, it's not a good feeling, right? You want it to be encouraged by other people not dragging your energy down. And I think this is the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing, even if I certainly do have no idea or trying, I'm trying to figure out what and how can I uh, serve the people around me while I'm in perfect alignment with my soul's purpose. I know it's quite deep and people, people probably would be like, oh my God, just into the psycho babble again. Negative people should have been taken out in your relationships or they're gone. And the number one person that you have to really get rid of is the obviously the inner critic. And you are not your thoughts. We are not our thoughts. These are just old programming that we need to get rid of. Hi, Daira. Thank you for being an angel to me. Uh, so I want you to understand that... Um, I'm not preaching here. I want you to be inspired. I don't even like to use empowerment because we are all powerful human beings. We are. We just tend to focus sometimes on the problems and the challenges because it's tough, I'm telling you. And especially when you're far away from from family and friends, it's like, oh crap, what am I gonna do, right? Especially when people are expecting you to be positive all the time. Hi! Yes, um, and that's a tall order, right? Like, who is encouraging me? You know what I mean? Like, there are days that I really need that, and that's why I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to show up for me, for my tribe, and even if um, it's tough, I am going to be there. Please hit your share button. Thank you. So, I just feel like now that I'm 42, it Definitely, it is a, a new chapter for me. It's scary as fuck. I'm going to throw that out there because it feels like that sometimes. However, what I know now is that the more I lean into my own fear and the more I befriend this freaking fear, I am unstoppable. Scared, yet doing it anyway. Hi, Ted. So, so for me, it's like, 
it doesn't matter if you failed a billion times over. For me, it's really getting back up each time you get. Ah, 22 is the new, uh, 42 is the new 22. I still feel like I'm starting all over again. Happiest birthday, Ning. I miss you. Um, so yes, it is not easy. Nobody says that, oh my God, I'm super successful. I'm super happy and everything in my life is amazing. And it, I feel like we need to kind of like uh, a conversation about how to be okay when you're not feeling okay. And, and, and for the people, especially for men and women who are entering this new phase of their lives, right in their second, like 40s and 50s or 60s, it can be daunting. I never thought in my freaking life that I would hit a, uh, a wall. Hi, so hit the, give me some love and give me your thoughts. Like if you are in your mid forties or fifties or sixties, I don't know, it doesn't really matter for me. I don't have a clue about time or age because I really don't feel like I'm 42. What I know now is I'm super grateful that I have been given this chance of a lifetime to inspire and learn from the negative experiences that I had had, whatever traumatic experiences I had, and then put that into uh, wisdom. You know, suffering is a choice and enjoying or celebrating your life is also a choice. So it's a, it's a moment to moment. Um, it's not like success is like a, a linear thing for me. It's not, I don't feel like it, you know, like I said, my life is always under construction and that means I'm growing and unlearning and, uh, growing into the woman that I, I truly, truly wanted to become and not fighting and just embracing the present moment. So I'm grateful guys for for you all are amazing and thank you so much for supporting me even if you are lurking right now you are so fab at 42 keep going thank you um yes i you know like i look back in my life i'm like okay i have not i'm not close to where i wanted to go or you know to be um however i'm still standing i am still effing standing and still having that passion to to inspire despite my own challenges and that is the rough rough thing however i'm still showing up and so for me it's kind of like i'd rather be known uh for my contribution in flipping the script of negativity and hi kuya randy and really not allowing the challenges to you know let me curl into a little ball and be depressed or something right and so for me i kind of wanted to talk about the difficult moments because i know how it feels like to feel like you're alone in your own little path or your own journey and i'm I, for me i'm super grateful for the tribe of men and women around me who are still believing in me when there are days that I feel like throwing in the towel or there are moments where I feel like I'm doubting myself whether I can do this or not. And I know that if my five-year-old self was able to get to a place of, oh, she, she believed that she could and she did, why not? when I'm now 42 and I have all the wisdom and all the life experiences that I have in my toolbox, right? So I feel you people. I know it's not easy sometimes, especially in this worldwide web of comparing and trying to be better. But I think the most important thing is you just have to stay in your lane, shine your light, even if there's only one person that you can serve today. And if my life has hopefully inspired other people to become their own um, people who are inspiring other people and um, changing their ways to become better people, I, I believe I have done my work and 
I am not really your typical chick who dreams small. Like I always have this big dream, even when I was five. So, um, hello, it is not easy, right? Because I don't know the how yet. I seriously am afraid, yet I'm doing it anyway. I don't care. Um, I am, I'm, I have reached a place where I'm like, okay, great. I did not die, so I'm, I'm gonna keep going. I just have to put my best foot forward regardless of where this is going. And my heart of hearts is really being called to, to help women to be creative again in terms of um, expressing yourself through art. Hi, Daisy. So, yes, it is wonderful to, to be alive. This is a gift. And I feel like every day is my birthday. Why would I wait for once a year to celebrate my birthday? Like, hey, yes, it is my birthday every day. And every day is a special day. And I'm grateful to to my family and friends, especially my mom and my dad and my sisters who are, and my brother who is millions, millions of miles away from me. Um, and yes, I miss them a lot. I miss the book and life. I miss it so much. However, I felt like, Hazel, this was your dream. You fought for this. So now you're here, what are you gonna do, right? And I never thought that the, I will come to a place of like, oh my God, is this it? Like, what can I do next? Where, I, where do I need to go? And, and who are the people that I must surround myself with? Because you cannot surround yourself with people who will drag your ass down. You can never succeed. You can never make your dream come true. Whatever the dream is for you, if you are surrounded with people who are just criticizing you, putting your ideas down, or making you feel like, uh, yeah, it's it's not gonna work, or like, if they're not encouraging you, then they have to be out of your life, period. I'm sorry. Whether they're family or friends, they have to go. Um, and so it's lonely sometimes because it's like, it, it can be, yeah, there are moments where I feel like that because it's like, why is this person trying to put me down? Or why are you trying to question my ideas? Something like that. I know that I have my own blind spots. I know this for sure. That's why I have to surround myself with coaches who are ahead of me because they're helping me become a better version of myself. I'm not here to become perfect. Screw perfectionism because I try that and I try to fit in in boxes that I, I'm not supposed to be there. And it brought me so much misery because like, why am I here? Like, I'm not even appreciated at all, right? So why would you be in relationships and or friendships when they're not really contributing to uh, giving you uh, that space to grow, right? So hello, this is important guys and girls, women and men, right? Like you cannot create beautiful things if, you are still stuck in the what ifs, I, I don't know what to do, and how do I get here, right? Thank you, Daira. I know you have really, really helped me a lot. Um, and so that's my encouragement for you guys today. Um, I never, never thought that um, starting my own business and failing in a lot of them will bring me to a place of humbleness and growing and becoming stronger. I think that the more I fail, the more I feel like I can do it again. You know what I mean? And, and I just want you to understand that God has brought you here. One, what's that? One chance of becoming uh, a better version of yourself versus feeling afraid of what would people think and what would people say screw this people these people are great feedback for sure that your critics including you are a great uh, sign that you're doing something good yes a lot of people might call you crazy a lot of people called me delusional maybe i am right because i have a weird way of looking at things and I have a very different perspective 
in life. So I am not your typical chick. I am not your kind of like vanilla type of person. I have, and I think you are like that too. Like there's so many layers of your personality that you cannot just be put in one box, right? Am I ranting? I hope not. But you know what I'm trying to say, it's my birthday. So that is my uh, suggestion and my um, inspiration to us all that we are all here for a reason and we must shine our light regardless of how difficult it is. I'm gonna share this thing with you guys because my mama sent it to me today on my birthday. So she sent me this, she goes, a strong person knows how to keep their life in order even if sometimes it doesn't show that way. Even with tears in their eyes, they still manage to say, I'm okay with a smile. Ugh. That is from my mama, and um, I believe we're all warriors. If you're still alive, you are a warrior. And it's not like about trying to um, pretend that everything is okay, is okay, right? It's okay to not be okay sometimes. Because, you know, if you don't evaluate your life and where you're going or you accept that, oh my God, I failed today and that's okay, right? Versus feeling like crap the whole day. I know, I know I'm guilty about this. And, but now, now that I am in this place of growth, yes, I know sometimes it's like, you know, people be like, where's the evidence of your success? I'm like, I don't care. Inside, I know that I am doing well. And so for me, it is important that we encourage each other instead of bringing us down, right? Because we're already surrounded with so much negativity and we need to, we need to be surrounded with people who are happy for you especially when you're going through a rough time, right? And I have women coming to me, emailing me, saying that they're having a hard time with their divorce or uh, single mothers, whatever. What If you're alive, you have a freaking struggle. I don't care. You have something that you need to work about, uh, about yourself. Like you have to grow and you have to just move forward from one place to the other. Happy birthday, all the best. Yes, thank you so much, Shai. Um, so I feel like it is important to have that kind of conversation with yourself too, right? Like it is important that um, we, I don't know about this realistic thing. I'm not realistic at all. I know, I am not. Um, yes, we live in a world where we have to use the money, we have to survive, however, I don't think surviving is is enough. I feel like today we need more true vulnerability, more sharing about how we can help each other versus dragging each each other down. And I feel that, you know, like people come to me and wanted to take advantage of my positivity. And then I feel depleted because I'm such a caregiver. I wanted to give and give and give. And now this year, it's all about me, taking care of me. Because I know how it feels like when you're like down and out and you feel like, oh my God, am I alone in this? And like nobody gets me or um, nobody understands. And it's not about feeling like you're a victim. You're not a victim at all. Um, and so you're a warrior, you and me are warriors. And how do we uh, have conversations that is not judgmental? Like, can we have that kind of conversation instead of um, dragging people down, you know, to the ground, they're already down. What are you doing, you know? So can you, if you are going to a workplace or uh, even in your family, because sometimes it's really the family and friends that are very, very tough, right? Um, there's so much dysfunction and there's so much negativity. And how do you, what do you learn from the difficulties from this family and friends that you surround yourself with? Because not everybody will agree with you. Not everybody will agree with me in this conversation, right? So, oh my gosh. 
I'm so happy and grateful, seriously, that I am given another chance to, to speak whatever is uh, important to me. And I, I will use my, my life to inspire others because I know how it feels like to be feeling like misunderstood and um, have more empathy and compassion for yourself regardless of how difficult it is. And uh, ah, Daira, I know I'm moving forward into this new place and new space of creating new wonderful things and hopefully connecting with my soul tribe here in Montreal and see how I can support all these women who are suffering silently and and having that kind of hard conversation it's okay to have hard conversations and be forgiving and be understanding and be accepting because it's really not easy sometimes and I feel like regardless of how old you are again here we go with the age regardless of how old you are whether you are poor you're broke or you are um, divorced or not divorced or happy or whatever it is your duty to support other people it is your duty to encourage other people and for me it is my duty to inspire you regardless of if even if my uh, life is upside down right and I feel great about it um, okay fine it may be delusional for other people or like oh my god this girl is cuckoo bear or she's talking whatever I don't really care for me I got to this place now of like believing in my own self believing in my own unique gifts that God has given me and it's my duty to share whatever I have to you and it doesn't mean that it uh, I'm uh, you know like perfect in doing this again we're not talking about perfectionism however it's kind of like opening our hearts it's really opening our hearts to having a conversation like what's the deal how can I help you can you help me you know um, that was the hardest part for me I never I never knew how to ask for support before up until the only thing the only choice that I have is to ask for help right because sometimes you're so blinded with your own thing that you don't even know it's like you're so in deep with your own let's say challenges and our problems that you don't know what to do and that is why it's okay to open up to those people who you trust and let them support you let them encourage you let them inspire you so guys thank you so much i know i am excited and yet a little bit afraid because it's like when you are doing new things and you don't know where you're going it can be scary for sure however if my five-year-old self if my 10-year-old self did it then this 42 year old self can do kick ass now you know so I'm gonna celebrate my birthday this weekend and uh, I know that you guys are here for me and I thank you that you are encouraging me to be a better version of myself and still going to continue to show up for my dream and that dream is really to paint um, beautiful things and selling them off and teaching other women to do the same to connect with their own intuition and to connect with their own creative um, spark so do not let anyone dull your sparkle I know it's sometimes it's really tough sometimes right there are days that are really like oh my god can I do this yes you can and and so for me it's like I hope that you are not going to um, give up on your dream whatever that dream means for you and so for me it's really it this is my new thing right now where I really truly like to create I love to create with my hands and if I'm not doing that I feel sad so I hope that I can share this gift to all of the people who are going to support me and I am envisioning a you know my people who are going to buy my paintings and see that it will bring so much joy in in their lives when they see my work of art you know um, again I don't know the how I'm just gonna show up 
I'm just gonna invite people to come and join me in this new, um, uh, what you call it, in this new phase of my life. And yeah, we'll see where this is going to go. Um, so there you go. I hope that you are um, doing well. And if you're not doing well, I hope that you are going to surround yourself with people who are going to encourage you. And uh, I hope that I inspire you every time I show up. And uh, yes, there are moments where I really don't like to show up because that's the introverted side of me. <laughs> Thank you, Daira. Um, and, and yes, um, I hope that you create your own definition of whatever success means to you and do not let the world um, define you for whatever that is. I really don't want you to listen to the people who are trying to drag you down, especially if these people are not even doing anything, right? I mean, it's easy to criticize people who are dreaming big, right? Or, And I am having a hard time for sure in terms of uh, how do I make it happen? Because I have such a big, big vision and it's like sometimes it's like it's, it can be overwhelming. It can. So there you go, guys. Thank you again for the beautiful and thoughtful uh, birthday greetings. I am here if you need me. You can send me a private message and thank you again for the thoughtful thoughts of um, making me smile today on this beautiful day, my birthday. Okay, great, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Dyer, for the love. Thank you, everybody. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye.